if I were to begin speaking about my personal views on this subject, would send a misleading signal. The key to a successful Supreme Court confirmation hearing is for the nominee to Fine, do two things that are amorphous. diametrically opposed. On the one hand, he or she wants to appear very knowledgeable and comfortable with legal doctrines and precedents, and to discuss them in detail. On the other hand, they don't want to cross any line that would expose any view or opinion about where they stand on those doctrines and precedents, and that requires an elaborate dance. Senator, I, I, would, I would treat it like I would any other case or controversy. That's what I could commit to you. Nominees are often asked about the right to privacy. Do you believe today that the right to privacy does exist in the Constitution? Senator, I do. Not because right senators care so much about privacy, but because it's a kind of code word for abortion rights, which are based on a right to privacy. And at least since John Roberts, but maybe longer, the nominees have developed uh, an exquisitely uh, balanced way to handle those questions. I have to look the litigant in the eye in the next case. And if I prejudge that case, they can look at me and say, you're not a fair judge. There are good no reasons not to talk Got about no recent decisions because so, they could come back to the court. Let me um, um, not talk about the particular case. And it's generally accepted that uh, judges shouldn't give previews of where they might there stand. Line. It's wavering. It's amorphous. It's uncertain. But this is the judicial function. Senators know they're not going to get answers to their questions. Please answer questions. Senator, I don't know. I wasn't in the man's you, shoes, but I understand you why You don't know did. what you would have done. So the entire ritual is empty on both sides. And here, Senator, they walk a fine line. I, I'm not looking to take us back to quill pens okay. and horses but, but and buggies. But just we if you could answer that question, century. it's pretty important to me. I'm trying to.